He joins us some traditional foods and the meaning behind them. Good Jeff Larry. Morning, good morning, Brad. Good How morning are you? To you? You know, I was, uh, when you walked in a little while ago, you had a cart and you had the, you, yeah. the, the igloo on there. You know, you've got everything in there. Yeah. You empty this thing out. Next thing I know, if we had a time lapse watching you, you just whipped all of this stuff up in the last we like, had 25 e minutes. True. We had ingredients and we had tons of ambition this morning. So <laughs> we knocked this, uh, knocked this thing out this morning right here in studio. That's amazing. So let's talk about it. The uh, Lunar New Year. What are the most, uh, the, what are the foods that everybody likes you, during the Lunar New Year? You know, there year? are some foods and I think that's the ones people tend to go to right. or to migrate to is the ones that are uh, we're displayed here so I'm working on some fish now a steamed okay. fish with a uh, ginger soy broth excuse me which is for good fortune and prosperity so that always symbolizes that noodles actually uh, signify longevity or long life. I'm glad you mentioned that because a lot of this food that we uh, we talked about this morning there's there's meaning behind yes. it. Yes. Correct? Yes and of course the uh, the uh, d dim sum, which are under those yep. covers there that you see of those steamers, Brad, uh, symbolize wealth. So we also have fruit, which is, means lucky Lucky okay. here. So I have lots of fruit here, oh pears and okay. peaches and all kinds of stuff here. Show everybody at home, look at that. And then we'll go to this one over here, Isaac. Those, so we have d dumplings, which again okay. uh, symbolize wealth. The use of seafood around Lunar New Year signifies um, abundance. Oh, okay. And you're going to have abundance throughout the year. Wow. So everything here means something, and it's very delicious. Okay. Uh, it represents a couple of our venues here at Viejas. Okay. Are you guys, you know, as we look down the, the table here, of course, we've got the rice on the end. As you walk through some of these dishes, start uh, talking about what they are and the meaning of these, like this one in particular right here. And will you be serving all of these dishes? Indeed, we will. All of these dishes will be serving in either Ginger Noodle Bar, our Asian restaurant, or on okay. our buffet, which we have a, a prominent, Engl uh, excuse me, Asian section okay so again the noodles here uh, chicken lo mein long noodles mean longevity mm -hmm. long life again the, the fish means uh, prosperity and good fortune right. the abundance of seafood our honey walnut shrimp is going on our menu on our next menu change down at ginger noodle bar mm -hmm. fantastic dish again means abundance as does the salt and pepper lobster you oh, see on the end that looks amazing. again a beef lo mein that you see there and then of course the shrimp and lobster sauce is more abundance now no meal is complete, Brad, without some desserts. Yes. Now, Asian food, Asian kitchen is not big on desserts. We don't have a lot of big desserts, but we do the mango okay. pudding, an Asian fruit salad with pomegranates and a little bit of condensed wow. milk, okay. and this beautiful green tea matcha roll. So matcha green tea with coconut cream with just a few uh, fresh fruits there. Okay. All right. Now, would you pair any of these desserts right here with a certain type of food, or does it go with everything? You're I think it right goes here. really good with everything. Okay. So it's a, it's a taste. The, the sweetness that we have that we're used to on the Western palate okay. uh, is not prominent in, in, in Asian desserts. It's less sweet. Gotcha. So it goes very, very well with all these dishes, which okay. seem to have a little bit more highly seasoned, savory, a little bit more on the salty mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. How did, you, how did you put this all together so quick? I we mean, thought about a framework. I'm coming to Fox. we got to make it special. Right, right. right. And, and this plate right here, appetizer. And this one, about, yes, what's this on one, this one? We're going to do a, a, an appetizer platter. It's called a ginger noodle bar appetizer yep. platter. It has Filipino uh, barbecue sticks. It has veggie egg rolls. It has firecracker shrimp, Filipino lumpia, Vietnamese egg rolls. So this is really kind of oh. a melting pot of a lot of things we do, a lot of cultures, a lot of ethnicities that we represent in our ginger noodle bar. And of course, wouldn't be complete without the three right. dipping sauces. What are the dipping sauces right here? Is we have this the peanut, peanut sauce. Okay, peanut sauce. Yes, that's a good for one. That. Okay. We have a barbecue sauce for the chicken skewers, and we have a, just a sweet chili sauce for both the lumpia and the vegetable right. egg roll. All right. All right. Uh, you guys are doing a big celebration. When's that happening at Viejas? We kick it off on Thursday the 23rd, and we celebrate it all the way through Sunday the 26th. Wow. Okay. You know, I was talking to you a minute ago. Is you put all this together? Will Will you be there cooking a lot of this? When people come by and they say, "Hi, I want to they see Chef Larry," you. they'll run into me one one way or the other. I'm around the casino a lot, and in the kitchen, and out in the restaurants a lot. Okay. Okay. This the spread looks amazing. I mean, you. nice no. work because right. I never would imagine when I saw you walking in here with just that, that eagerly full of you know whatever. We didn't even know what was inside the thing, and you turn it into all of this. That's amazing work, Jeff Larry. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah. All right. If you want more information on the VA House, the big celebration there, you can always go to our website. You can always go to the website fox5sandiego.com and just uh, maneuver your mouse and click on the scene on tab. Thanks again, Chef Larry. Thanks again, Brad. Thank you. I would imagine in just about five minutes, the vultures in the newsroom will have this all taken care of. Oh, yeah. Hey, we got, him, we got them covered. We got them covered. <laughs> all right. Back to you guys in the studio. Yeah. Mm. What vultures?